on configurations for Cosmic Pi, I'm trying to figure out how to make it work better, if not at all. Um, and what we have is um, here we have two slabs. So these slabs are uh, polystyrene scintillator, um, uh, 10 millimeters thick by 100 millimeters by 200 millimeters. Uh, we have two of them, as you can see. On the screen, we have our event display. So we haven't done any optimization yet, we've just set it up so it's running. So you can see that oh, we've got an event there. Um, and the two slabs are side by side. We think they're relatively light type. So what I'm going to do now is exactly the same thing we did in the previous version, which is lay one slab over the other one to show that we're then getting coincidence and, and cosmic rays. So right now we have three events. And when we flip this over, and we put it directly on top of the other slab, see now that we, we just have three, four, five, six, or ten events, so we have six more events. Um, basically, it, now it's counting cosmic rays, um, whereas before it was background noise. So this is, again, a great uh, proof of principle that it works, and a good way of showing our new coupling system uh, that we've been testing for linking to a slab, um, which would be nice and simple. Uh, so there we go, 25, 26, so out of those 22 cosmic rays. Uh, great. Uh, I think that's everything.